So back in video 2012, and I give them numbers so they're easy to find. If you go to the channel, type in 2012 on the search bar, the video will just pop straight up. But anyway, we made this using a 3D printer. It's a folding wind turbine and we made it from scratch. And to be honest, the performance was astonishing. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's incredible, actually. Look at that. Wow! Jeez Louise! <laughs> That's amazing! Now, it was truly astonishing, but it had a problem, and the problem wasn't to do with the wind turbine design. Actually, the wind turbine design, I thought, was really very good. The problem was to do with the strength of materials, because I used 3D printing to make it, and 3D printing puts down layers, and it creates a grain. In this instance, the grain is right across there, where the layers are being built up to create the wing profile. Well, that means it's got a weakness there, and it tends to snap in that direction, actually relatively easily. What I did to cure that was to coat it with some super glue. So this has a coating of super glue over it and that strengthens it up. But the weakness in the blade is always a bit of a problem. And in fact, with lots of these things, always a bit of problem when it comes to 3D printing. Now you might remember in video 2278, I introduced this. This is a gyroid lattice and it has some pretty interesting properties, but certainly in the physical terms. And one of them is it has no weak axis. It's as strong that way, that way, or that way. And it's become such an interesting thing that an awful lot of slicers are including the gyroid lattice as an infill because the infill has quite a dramatic impact on how the shell, the surface, is going to respond under stresses. Now, a lot of people have done tests on these, and here I'm thinking of people like CNC Kitchen and 3D Printer Academy, who've done some pretty exhaustive tests showing that this is, in fact, remarkably very much stronger. There is, of course, an awful lot of scientific research on gyroid infills as well, showing that they can give as much as a 40% increase in strength while reducing the weight. And, of course, these are very interesting things for building wind turbines. So I thought I would give it a go. So I printed two blades. These two blades are the same blade we used in the folding wind turbine. And that one is printed with a grid pattern of 10% infill. And the outer skin that you can see is only one layer thick. So my expectation of that is it's going to be about as strong as a sleepy kitten. I did exactly the same thing with the gyroid. I printed the same wing, 10% infill gyroid pattern, and then a single layer as the actual skin that you can see. And there is a difference in weight. This one weighs about 14 and a half uh, grams, whereas the grid pattern one weighs about 16 grams. So a significant difference in weight. And the question really is going to be, is the gyroid stronger than the grid? Okay, dead simple, just gonna hold onto the blade and press here and see what the weight reads when it snaps. And that'll give us an idea of how much force we need to apply. First up, it's the grid pattern. So for that one, which was the grid pattern, I got 639 grams. I extracted a still out of the shot so you could see that more clearly. Equally, you could extract your own still, but I got 639. And now let's try the gyroid. So I got 698 as the amount of force I had to put on that. And again, I've extracted a still so that you can see it more clearly. And if you want to extract your own stills, Knock your sound out. Now, I appreciate it was a little rough and ready, but pretty much as it's in line with what the research is saying, I'm prepared to buy into that. I mean, we got a 9% increase in strength, but remember, a concurrent 10% decrease in the amount of material that we're putting in there and therefore the weight of the turbine blade. And I think that makes gyroid infill 
definitely something worth looking into when making these kind of things. So it's well worth looking into your slicer to see if it has gyroid, because it looks like we can get a significant increase in strength and a significant decrease in the amount of mass of wind turbine blades simply by changing the infill, which I thought was pretty interesting, which is why I wanted to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.